How are you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Well, this is officially day 366 of the 365 day challenge. Um, and yesterday I just said to you that I was gonna sort of talk a little bit about what, what was gonna happen now and um, where the website was going, where the videos were going, that kind of thing. So um, it's been a great experience doing a video every day, but it's been tough work you know just sticking to it every day you know and and getting the videos uploaded so for the next month i'm going to take a break uh, i'm still putting up a couple of videos a week so i think on sunday and wednesday i haven't figured it out yet or maybe monday and thursday something like that uh, anyway it's still going to be a couple of videos every day or every week um <laughs> uh, i've just climbed up a mountain here Th this is i'm recording this a week before so it's the sunday before so the uh sunday that this is going to finish is the 30th of june the day this video is going to be put out is the first of july but it's the 25th of june it's my birthday and i always choose um since i've started drinking i choose a different mountain to climb uh every birthday right so that's my birthday celebration now is to is to get up a different mountain and i'm at the top of this one <sighs> I'm out of breath, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's just after seven. And uh, yeah, it's just a great, it's it's something that I'm getting into. Um, uh, it's taken me a while to, to sort of do it, you know, but uh, it's something that I'm really sort of trying to, to pull together. I don't know what I'm gonna do in future birthdays, whether I'm gonna stay in Spain or maybe do something uh, abroad, you know, that'd be exciting to do something like that. Um, you know, I, I love, where I live now, there's a load of mountains that I climb sort of all the time, and um, but it's it's sort of a regular thing. And when you do it regularly like that, you sort of get into a routine of doing it. And I can think I'm out on my own. Um, you know, I get out twice a week, and it takes me maybe four hours to uh, do this circuit around the mountain. It's about 16 kilometers. Uh, and as I say, once you get used to doing something, you know, you do the same track over and over and over again. It becomes a routine, it becomes a part of, um, you're just a plodding, you know, and it's like a meditational thing then. Um, as I say, I can think, or, you know, I tend to get up, most of my thinking done when I'm out walking, as I said before. Um, but it's great to do something new, so, you know, every so often, especially on my birthday, I think it's, you know, my birthdays before, you know, it was we're all about indulgence, um, uh, instant gratification, you know, getting drunk eating birthday cake, eating crap food, all that kind of stuff. Now, I mean, we tried to do it around this, this place, there, just down below us here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, no, it's probably just down below in the valley there. There's a place called Pecho. Um, and it's just sort of near Benidorm. If anyone's heard of Benidorm, uh, north of Alicante anyway. And there's one of the best curry houses around. It's just, um, there's no hardly any oil in the food um really good ingredients great taste uh, very light one of the best um garlic naan breads ever you know that i've ever eaten so we tried to go to this you know three or four times a year and that's my birthday treat you know instead of sort of doing this and getting up in the morning and coming out and doing this walk so that's just where i am um i'm going to continue on now i'm only three kilometers into this just up at the top of the first mountain and i think the it goes on for another uh 10 kilometers or something like that so i'm um, hopefully i'm going to get back by 10 and then there's a there's a big parade on tonight in the village which i didn't know about it's uh called the moors and christians parade where you know every village has one and they just put on such a show with you know they all dress up as either the moors or the christian I mean, it's a christian celebration but it's you know even as um an agnostic you can take something out of it it's just a great spectacle you know so uh, we're doing that tonight and then uh, tomorrow, I don't know, go out and do a bit more walking and then Tuesday we're going back home. So as I say, you're going to get this to Monday week, so it makes no difference. Um, as I say, so for the next month, there'll be two videos a week going up uh, on Alcohol Mastery. And then at the end of the month, uh, I'm opening up another channel called Habits Unplugged. Now, Habits Unplugged is going to be the same, similar sort of a thing. And I'm not sure how many videos a week, maybe two or three, and probably two or three on Alcohol Mastery. So it, with the with the two websites, the two 
channels and the two websites you're probably going to get roughly the same so maybe six instead of seven maybe i'll try and put up an extra video to make it a seven um but habits unplugged is going to be more about it's a holistic view to habits from the perspective of habits in general so not focusing just on alcohol but focusing on just a wide range of different um topics to do with habits all floating around habits bad habits getting rid of bad habits and uh, developing new good habits in your life. We're talking a lot about uh, positivity. Uh, we'll be talking a lot about learning and how you can use. You know, you can. You need to learn skills in order to move forward, right? You know, not knowing the skill is not a bad thing. It's not bothering to learn the skill and you know expecting everything to be all right. That's a bad thing. So it's about learning. Then I'm going to talk about you know taking action and. I talk a lot about nutrition and health and getting out and exercise and just doing different things in your life to try and replace the old with the new. And as I say, it's a holistic approach. So, you know, as I said before, with alcohol mastery, you cannot expect your life to change just by giving up the alcohol. Your life will change, but it will change only to a certain degree, right? You've got to put in the effort to think about what you want to replace the alcohol with. You cannot leave uh, a behavioral vacuum. You've got to have something in its place. You've got to have something to pull you forwards in your life instead of pulling you backwards. You know, um, my life is completely different now since I've stopped. And that is the catalyst of everything was stopping drinking. Um, you know, the catalyst really was, for me, was beforehand. It was quitting smoking and, um, and then seeing my son sort of picking up some of the habits that I'd um, taught him how to do over the years. And, you know, so that catalyzed everything off. But, you know, one thing after another, then you start to make changes in your life. You start to um, improve yourself and push yourself in the direction that you want to go to that person that you want to be, you know, to the best possible version of yourself. And I'm nowhere near that, right? You know, and that's being honest. I've still got a long way to go. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get there, but that's not the point. You know, getting there, what do you do then if you become the best person, you know, the best possible version of yourself what do you do then so for me it's the journey you know it's discovery it's um learning new skills learning new things about yourself learning new things about the world um learning how you operate how you operate on the best possible level and trying to keep that up and trying to you know i'm not into pushing it and pushing it and pushing it until i find the extremes i'm into having a, a healthy happy um life where you know i can do things in my life and I can go to places in my life, but in general, no matter where I am, whether I'm at home or whether I'm traveling or whatever I'm doing, I feel good about what I'm doing. I feel healthy about who I am as a person, right? I feel healthy about the way I live, you know? Um, so that's what Habits Unplugged is going to be all about, you know? It's about that kind of uh, transformative process from the bad habits into the good habits. So and it, it, it's sort of, for me... Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing another website is because, you know, alcohol mastery, you know, I look at this every single day, right? And it's alcohol and I'm, I'm trying to teach people, you know, this is the way away from alcohol is not to think about it. And I think about it every day from that perspective, right? And not that it's, it's detrimental to me, but I, I want people to look at habits in general as the same thing. Alcohol drinking is a habit, right? It's a bad habit. That's all it is, you know. Taking drugs is a bad habit. You get into the drug taking. I mean, you know, at the beginning, yeah, it takes a long time for it to become a habit. And even heroin becomes a habit after after a while. You know, and there's been stories, I've talked about it before, you know, where people have been so-called hooked on heroin uh, in certain circumstances. They change the context of their life. You know, for instance, one of the biggest studies that was done was um, in America after the Vietnam War and soldiers coming back from Vietnam and they had such a um, an addiction uh, there's such a problem with, with soldiers being addicted to heroin that they thought they were going to have a huge epidemic when the soldiers came back and in actual fact most of the soldiers when they got out of the hellhole that was Vietnam or that not Vietnam but the situation that were, they were in the war and you know um, somebody trying to, to kill them um, that they, once they got back to ho back home, uh, you know, most of them just stopped taking the heroin. So 
it was the contextual cues, it was the contextual part of this whole process that was keeping them hooked on onto the heroin in the first place, right? So, as I say, you know, it's it's a habitual thing you have to learn. If you can learn how to deal with habits, then you'll break down any bad things that you're doing in your life. So, that's happening in the beginning of August, maybe that's going to start up. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to use the next month just to think about it because I really want to get the forum back up um, in a different form than was done before. It won't be on Facebook, it'll be on the website. Um, and I'll have to take a much bigger role in that um, than I was doing before. Uh, you know, it was just, it was, it was helping so many people, but it was also, there was so much rancor as well inside the the because it was it was unfocused right so um as i say i'm going to spend a lot of time in the next month trying to think that and think how i can how i can do that you know to to everyone's benefit to my benefit as well you know i need to sort of um if i'm going to do this this way and spend so much time on it and try and build this up i've got to sort of earn out of it as well you know so that's one of the things that i'm, I'm thinking about seriously um so i'll let you know uh, as we go through the month um but as i say you know there's still going to be a couple of videos every week, so um, I hope you've enjoyed this this year. I mean, one of the reasons why I'm doing trying to bring it down to two or three videos a week is just so that I can put more more time and energy into each video. You know, I mean, uh, some of the videos I've just you know I feel were rushed um, and I didn't put much time into them, but you know they are what they are and they're up there now. So uh, anyway, let me know what you think um, and. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'll put a video up, I think, uh, this Thursday or something, Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday probably, and then next Monday. And I'll also put out the, the uh, um, on the newsletter, I'll put out whatever I'm doing, you know, I'll send it out as, you know, all the videos on that one website, so on that one uh, newsletter. So if you're, if you're subscribed to the Alcohol Mastery, newsletter you'll get all the videos from whether they're from alcohol mastery or habits unplugged and vice versa if you sign up for the habits unplugged uh newsletter then you'll get the a notification on a sunday of all the videos that we've done that week regardless of what website they're on so look i'll leave it there i'm gonna carry on walking now it's uh uh i've got a bit to go so until next time i'm kevin o'hara for alcoholmastery.com take care of yourself uh Keep the alcohol out of your mouth, it's the main thing. Uh, onwards and upwards. Take care. All right, bye now. Bye. Uh, just a couple of things before I finish here. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. I'll also leave the link down below. Also, once this 365 day challenge is finished, right, which is now, um, you can go on over to the website and there should be within a week or so uh, a link at the top of the their web page linking to all the videos so and um, they're split up into the first hundred days second hundred days third hundred days and then the last 65 days so that was just it uh, i hope you have a great day take care bye now